hey everybody i am come and making this video message and i want to let you all know that if you are now currently feeling like there is a separation between you and god if you feel like you are out here lost if you feel like there is no hope for you and if you feel very uh depressed and down and sad it could be because you are not fully trusting in god and i'm going to prove it to you with a scripture the reason why i'm making this video message is because you all already know that it is not always easy to fully relinquish our hands and our strength and our intelligence um to god because when we pray, when we fast, and even when we read the word, we don't always see an immediate change in our lives. We don't always see God show up. We don't always hear the voice of God giving us instructions or revealing certain things to us or even responding to us when we go to him about different issues, situations, and circumstances in our lives. And so it can be very difficult. Um... And then what we also do is we will sometimes, whether you do it intentionally or unknowingly, we will sometimes totally be dependent upon who we know, who we trust, and who we know ourselves to be. And we will try to take on burdens that are overwhelming and very heavy instead of giving it over to God. And once you get to a place, I am here to tell you all, because I would not lie to you all. When you get to a place where you feel like you're smart enough and you're strong enough and you don't have to go to God about everything and you don't have to trust in God about everything and you don't have to rely on God to get you from point A to point B, you will start to feel that in your spirit. You will start to feel broken. You will start to feel like there was a death or a separation between you and a loved one or a very close friend. Those that get this will get it and those who won't you just won't but when you know God and you've had an encounter with God when you know Jesus Christ and you have had an experience with him when you have over the course of your life heard his voice or you've received instructions from him or he has healed you he's opened up doors for you he has opened up opportunities for you or he has sent people and touched the hearts of people to assist you and help you you know God when you see him you know Jesus Christ when you feel him and so when you get to a place because there are highs and lows in Christ and sometimes when you are experiencing a low in Christ you are not always going to feel the presence of God but it does not mean he forgot about you it does not mean he no longer loves you it does not mean he is not going to do what he said he's going to do a lot of times we can go through things so much in life that we will forget the very thing or things that God has promised us. But I'm here to let you know, if you are not trusting in God, you will feel desolate. And desolate is just joyless, sorrowful, and you feel a separation and I'm going to prove it to you with this scripture that I'm going to give you I recommend the King James Version of the Bible but it's in Psalms 34 um, and I believe is verse 22 but it says those that trust in the Lord shall not be desolate and that is a very important scripture that I want you all to read when you get the availability um, when you don't trust in God and you are riding around really on empty, you will feel desolation within your spirit. This is a fact. When you have exhausted all of your other options, meaning you can no longer go to your mother or father, 
because maybe they don't understand you and what you're going through. Maybe you don't feel safe talking to them anymore. You can no longer go to certain friends because they are very judgmental. They are very negative. They are very narcissistic or self-centered. And so when you try to go to them to talk to them about certain things, they personalize it and they make it about them. And then they flip and turn the conversation you're trying to have about yourself self into them and they make it about their life their situations and their problems and so you will notice that once you've exhausted all of these other sources that you have been pulling from it may not happen to you immediately but over time you will recognize that you feel desolate spiritually you may feel it mentally you may feel it emotionally, but God makes it very clear. Those that trust in him, they shall not feel or be desolate. I'm paraphrasing. This is why I want you all to go read that scripture on your own. Because, see, when people always are dependent upon another human being to complete them, or to make them happy or to fulfill them and to provide for them something that they really cannot provide outside of Jesus Christ. This is when you start to go down a tunnel of feeling joyless, hopeless. Um, you, you feel a desperation. You even feel depression. There is a big difference. If you talk to anybody who actually used to be on fire for Christ... Um, and now they seem to be a little bit dead. It seems to be like a little bit of struggle. You don't really sense and feel the call and the anointing on that person like you used to when they were on fire. So in a nutshell, you can tell that a lot with them, their fire is dying out. It is not as, um, strong as it used to be, but if you ask them, you know what? What happened to you? I remember five or ten years ago, you were on fire for God. Nobody could tell you anything about Jesus Christ. Now, you seem like you're not really trusting in him. You seem like you're not really walking with him as closely as you used to. They will tell you, if they tell you the truth, that there has been a shift in they may share with you that they feel like God has given up on them. They will tell you that they feel like God has forgotten about them and God is overlooking them. But could it simply just be that at some point or another, they lost their trust in God? See, when you start going through a lot of things in life and you keep getting attacked and you keep getting pushed to the back and you're being misjudged and you're being frustrated and your relationships are all getting torn apart and they up one minute and down the next or you fighting in your body and you fighting in your mind and you fighting in your emotions, you fighting in your spirit, sometimes even... Uh, you will be in a dark season and you really will feel like God is not there for you. Could it simply just be that you're not trusting in God the way you should? Today in this video message, I want to let you all know that especially in these times that we are living in now, you have got to trust God. Although it's not easy, it's easier said than done. Because sometimes when we pray to God and we're crying out to God and we don't see an immediate response, it can be disheartening. It can be discouraging. But you get to dust yourself off and you get to remind yourself, you know what, God, even though I don't hear you, even though I don't feel you, Lord, I know you're with me. Because the evidence of you being in my life, the evidence of you protecting me, and I know it's divine, I see the evidence in front of my face. So although I don't feel you, although I'm not hearing you, although you are not tending to what I'm laying at your feet and what I'm crying to you about, about I'm still going to trust you you all have to learn to separate your feelings and your emotions 
from your actual relationship with God because you got to remember that emotions go up and down us as human beings our emotions are always unstable sometimes they go up and down but some of us we know how to just manage it to where we know okay this is a moment where I'm feeling like God is not listening to me but I know I'm just in my feelings maybe you had a bad day at work maybe your kids made you mad maybe you're going through in your marriage maybe something went on today or something has been going on the last six months to a year or a couple of years and you're just frustrated but you gotta know that your emotions and how you feel is for a moment because you can wake up and be angry today you can be irritated you can feel sorrowful and depressed and then the next day you are full of light full of love full of joy and you will go out here and profess that Jesus Christ is Lord I am telling you this is when you go through the highs and lows of your walk and I don't believe that God holds it against us however what I want to let you all know is that you don't lose your trust in God if you really think especially in these times that we live in here now the world is dangerous this world is wicked and I'm telling you I don't see how you all don't feel it every day and I say it so much every day that I wake up and I go out here and I'm, you know, running my errands and taking care of my business. You can feel the wickedness that's out here. You can see it when you look in the faces of certain people. But I'm going to let you all know if you really believe or you think for one second that you can stop trusting in God and you're going to continue to walk through life and make it or you think that you are so strong that you don't need to seek out God and you don't need to pray and keep your mind on God you are in a very dangerous place read Psalms chapter 34 read that tattoo it on your heart those that trust in the Lord shall not be desolate that's major God is telling us in so many words when you trust me and when you lean on me and when you come to me with every single thing that is concerning you you will not be desolate you will not be joyless you will not be hopeless you will not be sad and broken and down in the dumps. But if you are, sometimes you got to be honest with yourself and say, you know what? Maybe at some point I stopped trusting God. Maybe I've been re relying too much on myself and what I know. Maybe I've been relying on other people and I know that this is wrong. So let me get back to baseline. And what is baseline? Some of you all may ask. Baseline is is going back to Jesus Christ and, and telling him, repenting. You know what, God? I do feel a separation from you. I feel like I don't know you anymore. Sometimes it's God waiting on us. It's not the other way around. You know, we, we, we are supposed to wait on God, but that's not what I mean. What I mean is that he's waiting on us because God is always by our side. He makes that promise to us in his word as well. He never leaves our side. Even in death, God is right there next to us. And so I just want to let you all know, if you are feeling these strong emotions and they're up and down and all over the place and your mind is all over the place and you feeling fearful and you feeling scared, you are not operating in the full trust of the Lord. Even when you go out here in the world, I'm not saying go out here and be a fool. You don't make stupid, dumb decisions. But what I'm saying is that when you are trusting in the Lord, you don't fear evil. You don't fear another human being getting in your face or trying to cause you some type of hurt or harm. You fully trust in God. And you know that even though you may see a weapon form, you stand on 10 toes down that it will not prosper. You'll see some stuff form. You'll see some things coming at you, but it will not prosper. It will not overtake you. It will not saturate you. It will not saturate your life. Trust in God. Get back to baseline. 
put your trust and your hope back in Jesus Christ, especially in these times. If you don't know God now, now is the time for you to try your best to get to know him. Real talk. That's the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord will and I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to anything I spoke about in this video message, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.